hello there. Uh, welcome to another session of Anatomy with Dr. H. Today we're going to be going through the basic anatomy of the urinary system. The urinary system is divided into four major organs. Our kidneys, there are two on either side. The tube that descends from the kidneys is called the ureter, and that feeds down into the bladder down below. From the bladder, the urine is going to be removed from the body through the urethra. Those are the four major organs. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that first major organ, the kidney. Okay, the kidney is where the filtration of our blood occurs. So you guys are going to eventually need to know all of the blood supply to and from the renal system. The kidney itself is divided into an outside layer called the renal cortex. And then the inside, which is kind of where you see each one of these structures here, and then in between those structures, which is called the renal medulla. So there's the renal cortex, where you see all the blood supply out here, and the renal medulla, where you see these kind of big pyramidal lobules. And that's what these are called out here. These are the pyramids, or the renal pyramids, of the renal medulla. So what's going to happen is the blood gets filtered in the renal cortex and then that blood's going to pass down into the pyramids, go back out to the cortex, and then end up descending all the way down through the pyramids into this structure right here. Okay, the very tip of the renal pyramid down here. This is another projection-like thing. So this is called a papilla. This is the renal papilla. And that empties into this open space right here, which is a minor calyx. The minor calyx, the minor calyx, the minor calyx, those all empty into a larger calyx, which is called the major calyx. The major calyx is going to feed into things like the renal pelvis, and we'll see those using another model. As for the bladder, down here, <clears throat> and some nice things you get to see with the bladder are the folds that are in the surface of this bladder. Well, these are ruga. Rugae, add an E to the end, we got plural. The outside of the bladder is surrounded in connective tissue, adventitia. You got a nice thick muscle in between called the detrusor muscle. This is smooth muscle, it starts to contract as baroreceptors monitor stretch, right, that's going to drive the contraction of the detrusor muscle, and that's going to try to propel urine out of the bladder, out into the urethra down below. Okay, um, This is the mucosal layer, the muscularis layer, and the outside serosa, and the mucosal layer of our bladder is made up of tra transitional cells, or transitional epithelial tissue, okay, because it can stretch transitional cells. This is the number one location in the body we find them. We only find them here and in the upper one-thirds of the urethra down below. So hopefully that helps you guys understand this model. Um, we'll have some other videos of just looking at the kidneys, lots of those, and then models that we can zoom in and look at the nephrons. All right. Humankind, be bold. Be nice to one another. And uh, learn your anatomy and phys. <laughs> See you in the next video.